so we we use the algorithm the, the algorithmic model that we've developed to ask the computer what how do we go about doing that and it said well just take the wires loose from the earphones and stick them down in a glass of water and I just thought that was ridiculous but I tried it anyway and you could see how the water there was little bubbles shooting off of the ends of the wires and so I thought that was very interesting well about three years and a couple hundred thousand dollars later we've built this device called a peak alembic that uh, is basically a, re a reaction chamber where those two wires that are carrying the sound come down into two 24 karat gold rods that hang down into the water and when you first turn this device on the water puts up this huge resistance just like people do and it says no I'm not going to do this I'm not going to make this transformation but after about an hour goes by it reaches some kind of threshold where it gives up the resistance to the change and it begins to cavitate and implode in on itself and when it implodes in on itself it vaporizes itself and tries to escape the terrestrial uh, planet but we capture it as a vapor and we reconstitute it back into a liquid and it carries with it the memory of that experience mm -hmm. and so what we've done is basically instead of transforming the person we've transformed the water and then have the person drink the water and if they keep at it long enough to keep drinking this water it kind of takes over the water that's in their body and becomes them so it continues to educate all the fluid whatever water it comes in contact with not only the fluid but the gases as well the uh, the well, process course, works very well on fluid, anything that's gaseous or anything that's fluid we've been able to use the process on.